<laughs> Call to order. This is the eighth regular meeting of the 2011-2012 Common Council. And as is customary, our city clerk, Sue Richards, will read the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. In every crisis, there's a message. Crises are nature's way of forcing change, breaking down old structures, shaking loose negative habits so that something new and better can take their place. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Belt. Here. Boren. Excused. Carlson. Here. Decker. Here. Hammond. Here. Heidemann. Here. Koth. Here. Kittleson. Here. Matichek. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Raisler. Here. Sampson. Here. Van Akron. Here. Vanderweel. Here. And Versi. Excused. 13 present. We have a quorum now if we can all join Alderperson Koth in the Pledge of Allegiance. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Julie. Looking for approval of the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting. President Thank you, Mayor. I move that we approve the previous minutes. Second. Motion and a second to approve the previous minutes under discussion. I'm sure everybody's read them thoroughly. There is no discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Public forum? Nobody to sign. No public Nobody. forum this evening. Okay, uh, we have a candidate's opportunity to speak to the council regarding the aldermanic seat for District 7. Is there anybody that would like to speak? Sir, would you step forward, please? If you'd like to just give us your name and your address, and then you can go ahead. My name is Joel Hammond. I live at 1911 North 21st Street here in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. And I am the candidate for the vacancy left by Alderman Mark Hanna. Um, I'm excited to be here. Uh, I haven't been this nervous uh, since the election run that I had against Alderman Hanna back in 2010. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I, I look forward to some time uh, where I can get to know everyone else here better. I look forward to a time where I can help us move our city forward. I look forward to a time when we can all come to work and say, hey, we got that done. Uh, I'm not here with a preset agenda. I'm sure not uh, coming to this job looking to become rich. Uh, I'm doing this because I think our city is on the right track. And I'd like to keep, keep us going in that way and I'd like to be part of that. Uh, I thank you for your consideration. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Joel. Are there any other persons that would like to speak regarding being a candidate for Aldermanic District 7? One more time. Are there any other candidates? There are none. President Renflesh. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Seeing as we have one candidate, I uh, move that we direct the city clerk to cast a unanimous ballot for Joel Hammond and for District 7. Second. We have a motion and a second to name Joel Hammond as the new alderman for District 7. Do we take a roll call on this? And all eyes will do it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous vote. Congratulations, Alderman Joel Hammond. <laughs> now please, sir, come up here, sit in this seat, and get to work. Yeah. <laughs> No, you are not committee of the whole chairman, so don't panic. <laughs> Somebody else already grabbed that one. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. Okay, moving on. Uh, mayor's announcements. Uh, the uh, National Night Out, the Walk Against Crime, is going to be held Tuesday, August 2nd, begin at, uh, at uh, Fountain Park. It's a 1.9 mile walk beginning at 6.30 p.m. So everybody can please meet at Fountain Park by 6.30. There'll be music, refreshments, law enforcement vehicles to view, and law enforcement officers to talk with the participants. This is sponsored by Sheboygan County, Countywide Crime Stoppers, Na Neighbors Against Drugs, and Target, uh, which is the corporate sponsor. 
Again, that is at uh, Tuesday, August 2nd, 6.30 p.m. You can get more information at the at Crime Stoppers website, which is www.crimestoppers.ws. So if everybody can please uh, put that on their calendars, I am hoping to be there myself. Is about, oh, I have one more thing. I would like to thank our tourism department for the 4th of July. I don't know if anybody noticed, but the 4th of July came off without a hitch this year. It really worked well. Uh, it was headed up by Amy Gutierrez uh, and George Tuig of our tourism department with some help from the chamber and a bit of help from Chad Pelishek, who ran the whole show last year. So I'd like to thank them. They did a, they did a knock up job. I think it's one of the most memorable 4th of Julys I've ever seen in this city. So thank you. Okay, moving on to the consent agenda, President Rinfleisch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move from documents 8.1 to 8.11 on the consent agenda that all report of officers be accepted and placed on file, all report of committees be accepted and adopted, and all resolutions and ordinances be put upon the passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the consent agenda upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Bill. Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. And Vanderbilt? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions 812 by Alderperson Kittleson from Emily Vetting of the Non Motorized Transportation Pilot Program presenting the 2011 Bike and Walk to Work Week results. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, I'd ask for a motion to accept and file the communication Second. and open the floor to Emily Vetting from the uh, Non Motorized Transportation Pilot Program. We have Second. a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Okay. Um, <clears throat> under discussion, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Emily? Thank you. Um, I'd just like to give a quick little update as to what happened this year for Bike and Walk to Work Week. It was the fourth annual Bike and Walk to Work Week held throughout the county. I apologize. Talk right to the mic, Emily. <laughs> I apologize. Um, this year we had a lot of really cool events. We had a Wacky Bike Expo. We had a scavenger hunt. We had a bike and movie. Um, but most of all, what I'd like to talk about here is our employer mileage challenge. And what we do with that is we allow residents from around the county the opportunity to track their mileage online on our Bike and Walk to Work Week website. And then we offer prizes in six different categories. And um, we'd like to honor the city winners for that who won um, amongst all the public employers. So this would be the school district and the county and the city. Um, Caroline Fortin tracked 37.8 miles walking, which is the most mileage by walker, just during that week alone, which is quite impressive. And Scott Meliff also tracked 36 point miles biking. So um, as far as, uh, I'd also like to, to thank what a lot of the companies did, what a lot of the employers did to encourage this. Um, we had uh, Nemshoff tracked almost 300 miles online. Kohler Company tracked almost 500 miles. Rockline tracked almost tracked over 600 non-motorized miles during the week. And a commonality amongst all those employers is that it really takes that one person internally to spearhead the effort. Um, as I think Jean has done a wonderful job with that with the city. And um, I would just like to say congratulations to Caroline and Scott. Thank you, Caroline. Jean, would you like to say something? Um, yes, thank yeah, you, Mayor. Why don't you come up front, please? <laughs> uh, well, thank you. And, Council, I, I, I know that you've got received the, uh, the communication. Uh, 
for uh, Bike and Walk to Work Week. And uh, I, I too, I think it was a great week. And uh, we are really proud of our city employees who uh, participated in this challenge. Um, it was, uh, I think the first two days of that week were very nice days uh, weather-wise, but then I think we ran into some bad weather. So uh, it, was, it was still, uh, uh, again, uh, we're proud, so proud of everyone in the city who, who uh, took this challenge on and, and participated in it. And uh, I thank them. I thank them all very, very much. Uh, so for four years in a row since the challenge with the county and the school district began, we've won. So uh, again, that's something I think we can be very, very proud of. Uh, you see our, our plaque up on the wall. I'll put that right back up there again and uh, hope that uh, next year we can do it all over again. So thank you. Thank you, Jean. If I can have uh, uh, Carolyn and uh, Scott Mealiff come up, I have something for them. Make sure you get the p cameras pre-aimed there, Scott. <laughs> Scott does our, uh, our uh, uh, WSCS camera work here, so. Oh. Yeah, I know it's that one. <laughs> This is a, uh, a proclamation from the office of the mayor of, of the city of Sheboygan. States, whereas Bike and Walk to Work Week is a nationwide event that celebrates and encourages bicycling and walking as a means of transportation. And in the state of Wisconsin, Bike and Walk to Work Week took place the week of June 14th to the June 4th through the 10th, 2011. And Sheboygan County has joined countless other communities in the past several years as the non motorized transportation pilot program has held successful events. And every year a friendly challenge takes place between the city, the county, and the Sheboygan Area School District for miles traveled. And the city has, kicked up, has won the challenge four years in a row. Thanks mostly to two employees, Caroline Fortin, who logged 37.8 miles walking to work, and Scott Meliff, who logged 36 miles biking to work this year. Now, therefore, I, Bob Ryan, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, do hereby proclaim Carolyn Fortin and Scott Meliff, BWTTW, Challenge Champions. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Good, Scott. And, uh, step it up, uh, county and uh, school district. <laughs> okay, moving on. We just need a motion, or we need to vote all eyes. Oh, we on didn't vote on it. <coughs> just no eyes. All in favor of putting that upon its passage, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we have 813 to be referred. Reports of officers two, 814 through 816 to be referred. Report of committee seven, 817 by law and licensing recommending denying beverage operator's license application number 9120 based upon her failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on her application her record of violations related to the licensed activity and her failure to cooperate with the committee. This will be Alder Person Vanderweel. Thank you. I move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Is Maria Jimenez here? She's not here. Please continue. Um, we denied her request for an operator's license. Uh, she didn't attend either of the meetings that we invited her to. The first was via Regular mail and the second was certified mail, and we didn't hear anything from her. Okay, thank you. Is there any further discussion? <clears throat> Roll call, please. Carlson? And I oh, vote aye. denies the license. Aye. <laughs> thank you. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kott? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Belt. Aye. 
13 ayes. Motion carries. 818 by law and licensing, recommending denying taxi cab driver's license application number 8522 based upon his record of violations related to the licensed activity. Alderperson Vanderweel. Thank you. I move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Is Paul Pantel here? He is here. Um, law and licensing denied his application for a taxi cab license. Um, two to one. He, um, in 2011, he had an operating while intoxicated, and he had also, and that was not while he was in a cab. However, his previous speeding violation was while he was driving cab. Okay. Would you like to speak, sir? Please come up. That's all I can say is I'm good at what I do. I know the city inside and out. I know my customers, and I made a mistake. I've spent this whole year making up for that mistake and, you know, accepting my responsibilities. And the two hurdles I have left is to fulfill my $100 a month payment arrangement that I have with the municipal court and keep my job so that I can continue to make a living. I've been spent the last three weeks trying to find other jobs, and there's really not anything out there without, like, Qualify qualifications for technicians and stuff. So, you know, I made a mistake and I've fessed up to it and I've been doing everything I need to do to make up for it. So, how long did you drive cab in the past? A year and a half. In the city? Yes. So, you were licensed at that point? Yes. Any questions from the council? So, do you have a valid driver's license now? I had an occupational that's been suspended since the taxi license is on hold. Any questions from the committee? Alderperson Koth? Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Um, I am on lawn licensing, and the vote was two to one. Uh, I was in favor of granting the license. Uh, Paul has been employed for a year and a half, driving a taxi, uh, working 50 hours a week, and I just wanted to make that. Thank you. Any other questions by the committee? Okay, thank you, sir. You may sit down. Okay, roll call vote, please. An I vote would deny the license. A no vote would, it, would uh, not deny the license. Decker. No. Excuse me? No. Hammond? No. Heideman? No. Koth? No. Kittleson? No. Matichak? No. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? No. That was a no? No. Thanks. Yes, it was a no. <laughs> <laughs> so confused. Samson? No. Van Akron? No. Vanderweel? Aye. Belt? No. And Carlson? Aye. Three ayes, ten no's. So the. So the motion to deny is. Has is, failed. Has failed. Would somebody like to make a motion, President Rinfleisch? Um, I think we still need to put the recommendation on file, but uh, I move to grant the license then. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to grant the license. Under discussion? Alderman, person, Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I guess I would try to amend that to make sure that um, his license is valid before he's actually granted a license. We would do that. Right. So uh, we have an amendment to grant the license provided that his driver's license itself is a valid driver's license. That's fine. Okay. Any further discussion? We'll do a roll call vote, please. This is to grant the license, and I is to grant the license. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichak? Aye. Aye. Thanks. It's hard to hear up here with the air conditioning. Uh, Rinfleisch? No. Raisler? Aye. <laughs> Samson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Van Vanderweel? Aye. Belt? Aye. Carlson? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 12 ayes, 1 no. Okay, sir, your license has been granted. You need to make sure you have a valid license and reapply at the city clerk's office. Yes. yes. 
Okay, moving on. 819, by law and licensing, recommending denying taxi cab driver's license application number 9141, based upon his failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on his application and his record of violations related to the licensed activity. Alderperson Vanderweel. Thank you, Mayor. Move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. Second. We have a motion accepted to second to accept and place on file under discussion. Is Troy Apuzo here? He is here. Okay, please continue. Um, the committee voted three to three to zero to deny the license. Um, probably the biggest reason was he had disorderly conduct in 2011. Um, he also did have um, other car-related incidences such as um, operating af after revocation, um, driving without insurance, and there was also another disorderly conduct in 2010. Those are the items that happened in 2010 that he also had a record before that. Okay, thank you, Alderperson Vanderbilt. Sir, would you like to speak? Please come up to the front. <coughs> Troy, can you give me your last name? Abuzo, A-P-U-Z-Z-O. Okay, go ahead. Uh, first, I'd like to say in relation to the failure to report, it was just an honest mistake. Um, I thought I'd explained everything to her. Um, and then I was supposed to go to the police station to pick up the my police contact report, and I just never got to it. Um, so that's probably why that was recognized that way. Um, in relation to my, my past behavior, I really don't have an excuse for. I mean, I've been through a lot of traumatic things in the last three years um, and gone through a lot of changes. And right now I'm at a point in my life where if I take the opportunity to drive a taxi, that I can end, end up starting my own business here in town um, and actually become a productive citizen. Ever since I was injured in um, 2008, I, w I haven't been able to work uh, due to losing my right hand and like uh, depression and all kinds of things like that related to that. Um, basically, to sum it up, I want to be a productive citizen. You know, I want to invest in the community and I want the community to invest in me. So if you guys give me that opportunity, I'll make the best of it. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Are there any questions from the council? Okay. First in, we have Alderman Reisler. Uh, just a couple questions, sir. Are you are you employed now? No, I'm. I'm on this uh, workman's comp disability. Are you looking at starting up your own business, or? I'm looking to work for a taxi company. He's going to teach me the ins and outs, and I have my own money to invest. Do you have a valid driver's license? Now? Yes, I do. do you have insurance on your own vehicle now. I do not, but I'm in the middle of getting it. I just got a check so, like, from them, so I've been able to get a lot of things in order. Um, I will have insurance very soon. And the misdemeanor or the uh, disorderly conduct was an ordinance or misdemeanor violation? Can you say that one more time? Those disorderly conducts that the young lady talked about, were mm -hmm. they ordinance violations or were they misdemeanor violations? Um, I, I believe they were ordinance, but I'm not 100% sure. Thank you, Alderman Raisler. Uh, next, we have uh, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned some issues with depression and stuff, and you don't have to go into all the details, but are you currently um, being treated for that? or? Yes, I have been treated for quite a while with it, and I'm actually to a point now where I'm off medication um, and have been doing really well off of medication. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Hammond. Next, we have Alderperson Koth. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Um, actually, yeah, there was a past disorderly conduct in 2010, but there is also a pending disorderly conduct. It's been it's been uh, paid already. Everything's it, okay. My records show it's pending. Uh, you had a fight at Harmony Bar. Well, it wasn't really a fight, ma'am. I'm, I'm not making an excuse for myself, but this guy blindsided me. I didn't swing at anyone. Didn't hit anyone. I just got blindsided. And the whole reason that I got disorderly conduct was because I wouldn't cooperate. And the reason I was scared to cooperate was because I didn't want to say who hit me. The guy said he was part of a gang, 
and you know, that's, I'm not going to put my family in danger because I want a guy to get in trouble. That it might come back and do something to my family. So. And I would also like to quote, quote Lieutenant Middlestadt, who is also at Law and Licenses, uh, that he has serious reservations in granting the license, and that played a very big part in a three to zero to deny. Thank you. Thank you, Alderperson Kath. Are there any other questions? Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, are you are you presently do you ha you have a job? You're, you no. have an employer. You have someone who is willing to hire you. Is yes. You, yes. You, and he under he knows what your background In, is. Yes. Yes. You have a good support system with that. Sure. Most definitely. And when do you plan to begin working? If I get my license tomorrow, I'll go start work tomorrow. Have you looked for other work at all? Um, I've kind of gone through a process trying to find out what I'm good at. Um, and you're going through that process right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Alderperson Kittleson. Any other questions from the council? Thank you, sir. You can sit down. Thank you. Okay. If there are no other questions, roll call, please. And I vote would, uh, would uh, deny the license. A no vote would not deny the license. Sue? Hammond? No. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? No. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? No. Sampson? No. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Belt? No. Carlson? Aye. And Decker? No. Seven eyes, six no's. Seven eyes, six no's. The uh, motion passes. <laughs> Moving on. Sorry, sorry, sir, your license is today. You can always reapply next time around, but right now there's not. You can do it at the next meeting. Yeah, you can do it at the next meeting if you'd like. You can reapply for the law, next law and licensing meeting and go through the process again. Why don't you give the city clerk's office a call or come in tomorrow morning and we'll go through what the options are. Okay, you know where we are. Okay. Thank you. Okay, moving on. <coughs> Matters laid over 11, 719, resolution number 37, 11, 12. We're missing one here. Oh, another law and licensing? 8-20. Oh, here I was hoping we were done. Alderman Van der Wiel show. Okay, 8-20 by law and licensing, recommending denying beverage operator's license application number 9158. Based upon his failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on his application, and his record of violations related to the license activity. Alderperson Vanderwill. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and place on file under discussion. Is Eric Schrader here? Eric Schrader? He is not here. Please continue. Uh, he applied for license in 2008, and he was denied based on an um, obstruction. And since then, he's had an underage drinking and a failure to re prevent underage consumption. So we felt it was necessary to not deny. And we also had a negative recommendation from the police department. Thank you, Alderperson Vanderweel. Under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Belt? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. And Koth? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carries. Matters laid over 11. 719, resolution number 371112 by Alder Persons Hammond, Rinfleisch, Boren, Matichek, and Van Akron, authorizing the City of Sheboygan to borrow from the trust funds of the State of Wisconsin the sum of $650,000 for the purpose of financing construction of park buildings and for no other purpose. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Resolu uh, motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage. Under discussion? Just for a uh, little refresher, 
This is for part of the capital improvements uh, budget. We're going to the trust fund because it's cheaper than other sources of funds. And we're borrowing a lot less than we thought we would have right. to. Right. So that's the good news. And the other good news is we're going to get some new bathrooms and some other shelters and stuff in the parks. So this is a good thing. Under discussion. There's no other discussion. Roll call, please. Matichek? Aye. Rinsleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Belt? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. And Kittleson? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carries 722 RC number 761112 by the Committee of the Whole recommending approving the map for the redistricting for the City of Sheboygan is presented by the City Clerk. Uh, Alderman Hammond. No, President Renfleisch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Move the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion to second to accept and adopt under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. We can actually do it. I do have a quick question. Okay, please. Madam Clerk, uh, with what's going on in Madison, if they change all that stuff like they've been playing with, is that going to change this? Or are we pretty set? There's a possibility. We still need to, if you're looking to pass, we still need to get this to the county by Friday. That's our okay. 60 days. We would just have to Deal change or yeah, start over. Revise it again. Yeah. Cool. We can actually do an all eyes on this. Okay. It's not the actual. Thank you, Alderman Hammond. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 731, General Ordinance Number 121112 by Alderperson Kittling, Kittleson relating to U-turns so as to ban U-turns at certain specified locations in the city. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. I uh, ask that the ordinance be uh, put upon its passage. Ask for a motion for the ordinance to be put upon its passage. Anybody like to second that one? Second. Okay. <laughs> we have a motion and a second under discussion. Under discussion, as you can see, there are 13 areas here in the city. They're uh, dangerous to make U-turns <laughs> in these areas, so the, uh, our police department is advising that we uh, post them accordingly. So this, was, this came from the police department? Um, yes, it did. Great. Okay. Thank you, Alderperson Kittleson. Any further discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Belt? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. And Rinfleisch? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carries 732. General Ordinance Number 131112 by Alder Persons Hannah Vanderwill, Kath Rinfleisch, and Versi repealing and recreating subsection A of section 70-6 of the Municipal Code so as to adopt the statewide smoking ban with no additional clarifications. Alder Person Vanderwill. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. I have a motion and a second to put the ordinance upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Felt? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. And Raisler? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carries. 733, General Ordinance Number 141112 by Alder Persons Kittleson, Sampson, Carlson, Decker, and Van Akron, repealing and recreating Section 118-242B and Section 42-104 of the Municipal Code so as to remove the exemption vehicles legally parking in on-street handicapped parking zones from the winter parking and snow emergency rules. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the ordinance be accepted and put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put upon its passage. Under discussion. Under discussion, uh, Mayor, let me just say we had this in committee uh, last, uh, I think it was uh, January, February, where we made a change uh, uh, for uh, a citizen who was having uh, uh, some difficulty with the handicapped parking area. Since then, that citizen has moved. There have been no other issues with this particular area. We put, we, we've uh, put the ordinance back to what it uh, originally was. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Belt? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. 
Matichek. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Raisler. Aye. And Sampson. Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carries. 734 General Ordinance Number 151112 by Alderpersons Kittleson, Sampson, Carlson, Decker, and Van Akron, repealing and recreating Section 70 263 of the Municipal Code so as to permit movement from one transitional living program, TLP facility, funded by the Department of Corrections, Community Corrections, to another with no necessity to reapply for a waiver. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Thanks again. Um, I would ask that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the ordinance upon its passage under discussion. Under discussion, Mayor, um, I go to uh, uh, number five on here. Um, this just makes it uh, easier for our county agents to place people at the, uh, the TLP, uh, the Transitional Living Program, uh, so that they don't have to come to the committee and ask for a waiver again. They can place them wherever they uh, feel it is necessary for them to be without coming to the committee again. So. Thank you. Under discussion? There is no further discussion. Roll call, please. Vanderweel. Aye. Belt? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? No. Heideman? No. Koth? No. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? No. That was a no? No. Rinfleisch? Aye. Yeah. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. And Van Akron? Aye. Nine eyes, four no's. Motion carries. 739, General Ordinance Number 161112 by Alderman Rinfleisch, amending Section 38.3 of the Municipal Code relating to wards and aldermanic districts. President Rinfleisch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the General Ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second to put the ordinance upon its passage. Under discussion? <coughs> there is no discussion. Roll call, please. Belt? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. And Vanderweel? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law. Uh, 821. These are all referrals, correct? It'll say referral would highlight it. Oh, okay. Uh, 821 will be referred to the spe Special Committee on Risk Management. 822, an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from the president of Local 483 requesting support of a fill the boot campaign for the Muscular Dystrophy Association tentatively set for August 29th, 30th, and 31st from 2 to 6 p.m. each day. Alderperson Kittleson. Thanks. Thanks again, Mayor. I move that the communication be accepted and placed on file. Second. We have a motion to accept and placed on file. Under discussion? Under discussion, um, this is something that our firefighters do every year. It's their, fill, their annual fill the boot campaign, um, and that's usually done right before Labor Day weekend. Um, so we've uh, uh, given them the, the, uh, uh, the okay to use the city right of way in order to do this uh, safely, and uh, the communication is being placed on file. Thank you. Thank you, Alderperson Kittleson. It is a great cause. Any further discussion? I guess uh, I would suggest that the motion be clarified to approve the request. Uh, just putting it, accepting it, and placing it on file acts like you're denying their request, basically. So okay. I assume you're proposing to approve the request. Yes. Thank you, Mayor. Yes, we are uh, moving that the communication be accepted and placed on file, and that the, we are re approving the request. Thank you. Okay. Do we have a second on that one? Second. Yes. Thank you. Under discussion? President Rinfleisch? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, dovetailing what the, the city attorney had mentioned, uh, if we're approving the request, uh, it's, the letter itself is not very specific to Wish Street Corners. I think in the past it's been specific, Wish Street Corners, and when they're in the middle of the street versus the street corner. Um, I know what they're saying. It's obvious. They're going to do what they've done every other year, and I'm fully in support of that. Um, I just don't know if that we need to have some clarification. Again, the request basically says, uh, with your approval, the local 483 firefighters would like to stake out street corners approved by the police department. Do we know which street corners those are? Um, so I guess just dying the I's, crossing the T's, does it need to be referred or clarified, or is this okie dokie the way it is because I'm willing to vote for it today? 
Okay. No, uh, my feeling is, I mean, they have done this three, four, five years in a row now. Yeah. <clears throat> they basically do it at the same place every time. Anybody like to comment? Yeah. I was just going to... Alderman Hammond? To dovetail on that, Mr. Mayor, I, I agree. I mean, let the police department and the firefighters work that out. Right. Um, I think what they're doing is great, and they'll figure it out. Yeah, I think they, I think they will. President Kittle... Or yeah. Alderman Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. We did discuss all the uh, ins and outs of where they can, what they can do. Uh, it was discussed thoroughly at the committee level. Um, uh, our assistant uh, city attorney, Chuck Adams, always gives his, uh, uh, his comments, and that was all listed in, the, in his comments and, and distributed to the committee members, we, and we did thoroughly discuss what they can and cannot do in committee. Thank Mayor. you. President Rinfleisch, you satisfied with that? I guess with, uh, I've seen the, Sorry, I saw the attorney nod his head, and that satisfies me. So, thank you, <laughs> Mayor. Just, just to mention, this is one of the documents that what we're doing is we're sending it directly to the police department versus running it through the whole council. This is an event, right? So this is the start of documents that aren't going to. They're going to just come in and be looked at by the police department, Public Works, PPNS. Those are things that they can approve, and then the council can just approve the general. Concept. Right. Part of the streamlining. Streamlining. Okay, any further discussion? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 823 will be referred to finance. 824 will be referred to finance and public works. Other other matters? Attorney McLean? Uh, thank you, Your Honor. 825 is an RO by the city clerk committing various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2012 and June 30, 2013. That will be referred to law and licensing. 826 is an RO by the city clerk submitting an application for a private well permit from Bouya Yang, 1818 Eisner Avenue. That lies over. 1827 is a communication from the Wisconsin Naval Ship Association requesting an extension on the first right of refusal so that they may not so that they may complete the final stages of closing on the Alliant property. We'll go to city planning. 828 is an RC by the Marina and Harbor Committee uh, discussing issues with the necessary repairs to the Marina building. Will be referred to finance. 829 is a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute a modified project agreement between the EPA, the uh, Wisconsin DNR, the city, the county, Pollution Risk Services and the Wisconsin Public Service Corporation. That lies over. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to adjourn in a second. All in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>